Simon says subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. Count blank is one of those formulas that pretty much does exactly what it says on the tin. It counts all blank cells in a selected range. And sometimes this can be really useful in many different scenarios. So let's take a look at how count blank works. Now in this first example, we have a table on the left hand side that just has some order IDs, some customer names, and then we have email addresses for some of our customers. Now it appears that some of the customers haven't left their email address when they've placed an order. So I've been tasked by my manager to go through all of our customers and tell him how many haven't left an email address. And this is really going to determine if we're going to spend any money on developing our order system and making email addresses mandatory prior to placing an order. So I can use the count blank function for this and it works exactly as you would expect. We're going to type in equals and it's this one just here, count blank. And we have one argument for this and that is the range of cells. So all I need to do here is select this range, C4 to C23, and it's going to tell me that out of 20 customers, seven of them have not left their email address. Now, currently this data that I'm reviewing isn't in a table. So as I add more customers to the bottom of this list, my count blank formula isn't going to update. So again, this is another reason why using tables is so important. Let's press Control T, click on OK, and I'm going to leave the table style as it is. Let's give our table a name. We're going to call this orders. And now I'm going to update my count blank formula. So let's replace the cell reference with the table name this time and hit enter. So now if we add a new customer onto the bottom, so let's say the order number is 1020 and I'm just going to use my name, why not? Notice that my formula has updated, so now we have eight people in the list who don't have an email address. Now if I was to add my email address in here, and I will say that this isn't my actual email address, but let's add one in and hit enter, that count blank formula goes back down to seven because it's no longer a blank cell. So make sure that you put your data in a table and then your count blank formula will constantly update. Now, another quick tip here, notice as I've entered in my email address, it's automatically turned it into a hyperlink. Now, the other email addresses in here are not hyperlinked, so, so if you just want to remove that hyperlink and just have it as plain text, just right click on the cell and choose Remove Hyperlink. Let's take a look at another example of using count blank. Now, what I have in the table on the right hand side are a list of employees and I have days of the week across the top and then I have a Y which tells me on which days these employees are scheduled to work. And the first thing I want to do here is I want to just do a count of how many days each employee is working. So this is just a straightforward count A. I'm going to select this row, close the bracket and hit enter, and then I can copy that formula down. And that just lets me know how many days each of my employees is scheduled to work. Now, what about if my manager comes to me and he's looking at rearranging the scheduling around a little bit because we need more cover on certain busier days. What would be really useful to know is how many employees are off on Mondays, how many are off on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, so on and so forth. And this is where the count blank function can come in really handy in a practical example. So let's go for count blank. Our range, we just want to select Monday. Close the bracket, hit enter, and then I can drag this formula across and I can see how many employees we have off each day. So on Saturday, we have the most amount of employees off, but Friday and Saturday are our busiest evenings. So this is really going to help my manager when it comes to analyzing how he wants to reorder the scheduling of staff. So count blank can be used in many different situations and is a really useful formula to have in your Excel toolkit. This video is part of our complete set of courses for Excel 2021 and Excel 365. 
To take a look at our courses, click over there. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. And to see more Excel videos, click over there.